Hello everybody! Today we want to talk about a tool that, although it is not new, we still get a lot of questions about it. Let's talk about Diffuse tool. Lately, Project Life is becoming more and more popular and Diffuse tool is the perfect ally for this kind of project. Diffuse tool is used to seal and create a stitch effect on plastic sleeves. This is achieved thanks to this little hot wheel. Therefore, you should always hold it by the plastic handle so that you don't burn yourself. The fuse comes with a series of accessories, like a support to rest the tool while working with it, a metallic ruler of 16 cm and another tip used for cutting. The metallic ruler is designed to run the fuse through this rail, although you can also use this side especially if you're using decorative tips that are wider. You can even use this other side and in case you need more length, you can use any other metal ruler. This here is the silicone base for the fuse. It's a silicone matte heat resistant, so you can use the fuse directly on it, which you couldn't do with a normal cutting mat, for example. Using this silicone base has other advantages. First, it has a pocket in which we can keep the fuse while it is hot, which is very practical and prevents us from getting burned. As it is a soft material, it allows a perfect seal when running the fuse wheel through the plastic. Therefore, the finish will be much better if you use the tool on another surface, such as cardboard, glass or cork. In addition, the grid makes it easier to make straight lines. As we are working with clear plastic, the stripes on the grid work as a guide. Like this kit in which you will find replacement for the two basic tips that come with the fuse and in addition to them, two slightly wider decorative tips. One with a strip design and another one with a diamond design. The tips are interchanged by screwing and unscrewing. Now, let's see how to use it. The first thing to know is that the fuse has to be very hot when working with it. You will have to plug it in for about 10 minutes before using it. If you use it without it being hot, the plastic will not melt well and the stitching will not last. Once it is at the right temperature, you can start working with it. The material you are going to work with must be of good quality. You can use either Wear Memory Keepers covers or those from our brand or the Project Life covers. To get a good result, you should be aware of the pressure and the rhythm. Press a little, but not too hard. And slide it slowly, but not too much. In addition, you should always keep the same inclination towards the sleeve. This is how it should look, well sealed and with regular and uniform stitches. Let it cool for a few seconds before checking or touching it. If you run the fuse too fast, the material won't melt and it won't seal properly. If you run the fuse too slowly, the plastic will burn and could even create a hole in it. nor you should run it several times lifting the tip as the tips will not coincide in the same point and the result will not be very polished. Now let's see the decorative tips. As you can see they are wider and allow you to create different designs broadening all of our possibilities. With a fine tip, you can make an extra opening wherever you want. Just put a piece of paper or cardboard inside the sleeve, so you will only be cutting the top part of the sleeve.
the fuse is not only used to make pockets in the project life covers. It will be a great ally to decorate your projects in original ways. All you need is a bit of imagination and fearless practice with the fuse. One of the things you can do with a fuse is to create different shapes by using metal dies as templates. Just outline the die carefully and fit it with whatever you want, like sequins, glitter or decorated paper, for example. As you can see, the fuse is a very versatile tool. You can make project life, create tags, cards, ornaments, and even album covers or pages. We hope that all these tips will help you and make you want to use this tool. You know, you can ask us anything you want in the comments or you can share with us in a little trick you have with this tool. See you in the next video.